separate that because uh, there is some conflict there that you have to uh, investigate the very entity that you're regulating. So I created the Investor Protection Surveillance Department or renamed one department as such because that department used to handle pre-need companies and pre-need companies have been transferred to the jurisdiction of the Insurance Commission of Kerala. So uh, everyone has his own uh, job to do. Uh, we are also into capacity building measures. We've uh, been able to hire recently because maybe we were able to get a budget for increase in our uh, compensation to the uh, staff. One magna cum laude from UP Economics and another summa cum laude from UP Economics. We've also hired uh, more lawyers that they are now willing to work for the SEC with our uh, new vision. And uh, the fact that we are now also sending about we're four people to uh, train abroad for master degrees and the two here uh, locally to be able to uh, do further studies. Okay, thank you very much. In your opinion, what should be the role of the Supreme Court in shaping our economic policy? Um, I'm very much for the Supreme Court taking an active role, even in the limited function as reviewer of the law and not maker of the law. There are many cases that uh, give the Supreme Court the opportunity to be able to contribute or to lead the country to better economic conditions. And uh, I would always always have in mind, if I were given the opportunity, to think about what the repercussion of a decision could be in terms of the economic uh, uh, situation of the country. I, I have an example, but it's a pending case, so I cannot uh, uh, maybe I talk see. about it's okay. it. It's okay. The new constitution imposes upon the judiciary the duty, not only the power, to strike down acts committed by any branch or instrumentality of government in grave abuse of discretion. What do you think is the effect of this provision on the judiciary? Um. It's a very special provision that uh, is probably present only uh, in our constitution. And uh, it has really given uh, the judiciary the enough power, although it's uh, really uh, a duty in a sense, to be at par equal to the other two branches. And it is the final uh, arbiter, or I would yes. say the one who would say whether the two other branches have exceeded their authority. Mm -hmm. But uh, as a practitioner, or even as a teacher or professor at the UP uh, law, <laughs> I, I know that my students always have difficulty comprehending what's grave abuse of discretion. Of course, we have the usual whim, caprice, arbitrary, despotic yes. manner, but uh, they have not really been, what, uh, subdefined to really be applicable to special situations. And uh, maybe if there is, uh, uh, more definite uh, illustrations given of what grave abuse of discretion is, then it would be a better guide for the judiciary, as well as it would contribute more to the requirements of consistent, consistency and predictability for Supreme Court decisions. So, um, you have been in the active practice of law for the past several years. Are you familiar with the problems confronting not only the Supreme Court but the entire judiciary? I would like to think so, Your Honor. So can you name some of those problems? Okay. Um, in terms of delay, which I think everybody ha had mentioned before. Clock dockets. Yes, and oh. clock dockets. I, uh, I would like to say for once for all, I think our laws and rules are sufficient, except that some of these rules which could solve the problem of delay are not really being uh, applied or implemented or followed. Like for example, the modes of discovery. Some lawyers are still uh, hesitant to avail of modes of discovery in order to shorten the trial uh, stage of the uh, proceeding. And then for example, execution pending appeal. Do you know that uh, it is still, despite Supreme Court decisions to the contrary, considered as an exception. If you have execution pending appeal after the uh, 
decision of the RTC, let us say, then it would probably be able to reduce frivolous appeal. In my uh, case, I was thinking we already have the verification, certification on forum shopping required from litigants. I think that if you're going to go appeal to the Supreme Court, I would require another statement in that certification that says that the client has been advised by the lawyer about the merits of the appeal or the lack of merits of the appeal, in which case then the Supreme Court can uh, readily uh, um, get an assurance that uh, the appeal is substantive because I'm sure some clients would probably think twice before uh, going on appeal and would, of course, uh, not uh, be encouraged by the lawyer to uh, pursue a frivolous appeal. And um, sometimes there are also laws, like in the civil code, which uh, allows uh, actually property bonds, but if you go to the courts, they don't actually know about it, and they would rather get a bond from a bonding company when actually property bonds would be even much uh, faster. And uh, there are other uh, laws there already which uh, would solve the problem of delay. Maybe it's more like uh, what the Supreme Court did for mediation. I understand that uh, it's been relatively successful and has lessened really the number of cases. And if we not, if um, I may point out, as having taught uh, in law school for um, about 10 years, I've noticed that there's such an emphasis on remedial law subjects, about 25%. Even in the bar, it's really the uh, uh, major uh, subject. And even if I am a professor of remedial law, I'd like to think that uh, that shouldn't probably be the case. More subjects maybe should be given to arbitration, which presently is only an elective and probably only two or three units, and then mediation, and then probably teach uh, students how to negotiate so that they avoid litigation, may be able to let the parties compromise and not go to our, uh, litigation. So uh, I could understand the uh, hesitation of lawyers to go to that route because then they probably won't be able to handle so many cases. But clients should also be uh, educated that the bulk of the work for lawyers before uh, the case it is in the preparation, the evaluation, and if the evaluation shows that the case should not be filed, then the lawyer should be brave enough, uh, forget about the fees, and say that uh, uh, maybe you shouldn't go to court. Uh, how else would they justify the fact that they had told the client that the case was meritorious? And this thing about uh, uh, going up to the Supreme Court, I think could also be uh, uh, reduced if Maybe the, our Court of Appeals would be strengthened and uh, people would trust that that decision is final and that um, should be accepted at that point and that there's no more going to the Supreme Court, which I think uh, should devote more time, of course, to questions of transcendental importance. How about the problem of corruption? That is a nagging problem of the judiciary. How are you going to address it? Um, yes. Well, first of all, corruption is always uh, counterproductive. Even if, for example, the lawyer will get what he wanted at the first instance, it would only uh, result in uh, doing bigger uh, things uh, when you go on appeal. But uh, there's one way of uh, probably uh, minimizing the possibility of uh, corruption. And I know that the Supreme Court with the court administrator does do its job to monitor and evaluate uh, the performance of uh, the judges in the lower courts, but probably making the process more transparent. I know that the decisions of the Supreme Court are now uploaded in the website. One suggestion that I heard and was told to me, to which I agree, is that you could probably also upload the memoranda of the parties. In this way, anyone, whether on its own or authorized by the Supreme Court can do a legal audit of cases. Of course, decisions are not always supposed to be absolutely correct, but sometimes you can read <laughs> through the lines whether uh, the decision was not on the basis of the merits. And uh, I guess being more transparent and making available to the public the uh, filings of the parties, and then they compare what was the uh, final decision would uh, probably give an impression of whether 